Hey YouTube, welcome to another one of my home movies videos. This is from March of 2013 when we went on our family vacation down to Orlando and then did a day trip over to the Kennedy Space Center and the Valiant Air Command Warbird Museum. And I'll put links to the websites for each in the description. So of course we got the obligatory family photo upon arrival. And this is kind of like the uh, Valley of the Monuments, if you will. It's uh, all the different rockets from over the years, um, and they have examples of each uh, as you come in. And then um, we went to a show with Jerry Ross, who was an astronaut on several of the shuttle missions, and, and that was really interesting. They did a Q&A afterwards. And then you take this bus out to that you know, great big building, and along the way you see the launch pad, um, where they actually launched the shuttles. So I took quite a few pictures of that as um, I have a shuttle on the pad model that eventually I'll be building. And you'll see that a lot. I, I took a ton of pictures for references down the road and I, you know, held back on a lot. I didn't put all of my photos in here. This would have been like a half hour video. Um, but when you get to that big building, you um, come in and they have this little show in this mock control room and they talk about all the various Apollo launches. Um, and then from there, you move into this um, big room with an actual mock up of the Saturn V rocket separated at the various stages. And as you work your way along, um, there's all these different displays of all the different Apollo missions and, and things that were in those missions. So here you see, you know, the different stages hanging up above you. And I, I kind of took a picture of each of the rockets and then took a ton of pictures of these landing modules because again, I have that model that down the road I'm eventually going to build. And then I think you've seen some of these photos coming up before when I built my command module and I actually used these pictures as references for that build because it required a ton of scratch building. And then I think this is a mock -uh section of the Skylab, which, you know, a Saturn V rocket carried them up to the uh, Skylab. Um, and so then working my way back, um, again, each Apollo mission had a uh, static display of various stuff that was in that mission, like the moon rover and um, space rocks and various uniforms and uh, spacesuits. Um, and then on the way back, we saw the stands where people used to sit or do sit to watch the various rockets still take off. And then once we got back to the visitor center, I think we did a couple of more displays and then headed over to the Valiant Air Command, which is at the Space Coast Regional Airport, which is right off that long highway heading out to Kennedy Space Center. Um, and it's a really cool museum. They have, you know, tons of planes, a Wildcat, which I, again, referred to when I built mine, especially that landing gear, uh, and then um, a Stearman. Um, so from here forward, it's just, you know, pictures of all the various planes that we saw. And it was really cool. Um, they have a lot of different planes there. I, I actually went back out to their website recently and... Um, as you'll see coming up, uh, some of the planes were under construction. Again, this was back in 2013, and now they're done. Um, and I think I pop a picture or two of those in here. This is their C-47 Tico Bell. I'm actually just going to read a little bit from the website about this plane's awesome history. Tico Bell is a flying memorial to the men who flew her and who flew into combat aboard her. On the 5th of June, 1944, she and hundreds like her from airfields across southern England carried members of the 82nd Airborne into the assault on Hitler's Fortress Europe. Since retiring from the U.S. Air Force in 1950, she has served with the Norwegian and Royal Danish Air Forces, and since the 80s, has appeared in several movies including A Bridge Too Far and several TV shows including Miami Vice. Yeah, it's just a really cool piece of history, and I really enjoyed seeing it. And then right across from that is this McDonnell Douglas F4J Phantom, and you can see it's completely stripped down to the bare metal. Um, and I took way more pictures than this um, because I actually used these as references when I built my two F4 Phantoms for the Enterprise project. But you can see it's just completely stripped down, and uh, that was back in 2013, so here's what it actually looks like today. And they did a really nice job on it. And then across from that is this uh, TBF Avenger 
they were working on that. And again, I took a ton of more pictures of this uh, than I'm showing you because somewhere down the road, I'm going to build one of these and again, use these as references. So I crawled under it and uh, went all around it and you know, took as many photos as I could. And then walking from one hangar to the other, there's this T-33, which they've redone since, and here's what it looks like now, as well as this MiG-21, which was very cool. And I, again, took a lot of photos of that because um, I think I'm going to build one of those down the road. And then they had yet another Avenger um, outside the second hangar. Um, so took a couple of shots of that and then inside that next hangar there's a T-28 Trojan which I've seen at several air shows and then this Grumman S2 tracker and again took a ton of pictures because this is probably going to be my next build um, actually a C-1A Trader which is you know basically the same plane and then I took pictures of the uh, folded wing, uh, especially as a reference because uh, I plan to fold the wings on that. So yeah, I took a ton of photos of this. And then there's one of my favorite planes, the A6 Intruder. Gotta love it. And another one I took a ton of photos of was this uh, TA-4 Skyhawk um, because I originally planned to build the number seven plane, um, but actually gave this kit away during my uh, 300 sub kit raffle, having already built two of them for the Enterprise project. And then there's an F-8 Crusader. I actually got to sit in one of these at the USS Hornet Museum in NASA Alameda. And there's a F-101 Voodoo, don't see a lot of those. And then the F-105 Thunder Chief, and you can see they were working on this one at the time, and here's what it looks like today. They, again, did a nice job. And the Bell UH-1 Iroquois, better known as the Huey. And then a McDonnell Douglas FA-18A Blue Angel. Uh, I believe the one I built was the C. So I took several photos of this, and of course the girls got into the act. And then right next to that was this Stuart S-51D Mustang, which is a home-built acrobatic aircraft designed and marketed as a kit for amateur construction. It's actually a 70% scale version of the P-51D Mustang. And here's a Grumman F-14 Tomcat and an old 40s uh, Army staff car. And then here's an Aero L39 Albatross. And if you saw my air show video, I think I told you this is a Czech made Soviet era trainer that these guys go out and buy and turn into acrobatic teams and stuff like that. And then back there between those two planes is a Sikorsky H19 Chickasaw helicopter. And then here's a F-86 Sabre that flew with the Sky Blazers. And then across from that is the uh, MiG-15. First time I got to see one of those up close and personal. And then, you know, one of my favorite planes, the B-25 Mitchell bomber. And you may have seen this picture on the wall in my workshop, the girls imitating the nose art on the plane. And this is a Messerschmitt ME-208 based on the BF-108 produced by Nord Aviation in occupied France. The company actually built two prototypes during 43 and 44, and this one actually survived the Allied liberation. And here's a cat plane, the Grumman F9F Panther. A uh, very cool plane. I built one of these as a Blue Angel. So the family had a fun day, and we all learned a lot, and we were actually the last to leave the museum that afternoon. So if you have a chance, definitely go check out these two great facilities. Uh, again, links to their websites will be in the description. I uh, hope you found this interesting, and as always, thanks for watching, and happy modeling.